everyone, it's Miss Dragonfly back again and this is my review of episode 12 of SBS's dating show, Undressed. Now this episode is very interesting. Uh, both couples here are heterosexual, however one couple is white and for the first time we have an ethnic heterosexual couple. This gives us the chance to see the contrast between the interactions of a Western couple and an Asian one. The white couple features Jackson 27, who wants someone adventurous and Candace 24, who wants someone she can laugh with and not be afraid to be the boss. Now here again we see the preference that women have for strong men, as you can see what Candace has stated. They undress each other and Candace is very impressed with his body. She is very chatty and they get along extre extremely well so it seems. And when prompted to hug each other they do so enthusiastically and Jackson looks like he's definitely enjoying it and wants it to continue. On the other hand, even though both James 31 and Sue 26 have grown up in Australia, you can tell that they still have the Asian conservatism with them. James says that he wants someone intelligent and enjoys her work and can hang out with on a rainy day. When have you heard a Western guy ask for a girl that values her work? Then Sue says that she is pretty chill and not high maintenance. Now when have you heard a Western girl describe that about herself? This situation is clearly uncomfortable and awkward for the both of them and they aren't sure of how to act. You can tell as soon as they try to undress each other. I mean, in contrast to Jackson and Candace, who were enthusiastic, James and Sue looked awkward. Their awkwardness continued once they got on the bed as you can see how far apart they were sitting from each other. This awkwardness was further compounded and it ruined all chances, chance of it working when, with Sue when James said that he had mostly dated Caucasian which made Sue feel insecure, awkward and think he wasn't really into meeting her. And when it was pillow fights time it was awkward too as Sue, Sue seemed to do it half-heartedly by giving little taps which uh, made James unsure of how hard he should be hitting her. But in contrast, James and Candace's pillow fight was full on. Uh, James and Sue felt the conversation wasn't flowing smoothly and they had trouble connecting. And when prompted to kiss, Jackson and Candace did it enthusiastically. And while Sue clearly wasn't, well, didn't want to, so James suggested a peck on the cheek, which happened very quickly. Blink and you miss it. In the end, it was not a surprise that both Candace and Jackson said yes to seeing each other again. James said yes, which was a little surprising, but I think he felt they should give it a try under a less pressured environment. Uh, Sue said no, which was not surprising. She was uncomfortable the whole time with the situation and she put herself, the situation that she put herself in and that led her to being uncomfortable with James. Now Asians do try to emulate the behaviour of Westerners when growing up in a Western society which is why I think that James and Sue thought they should also try this and rather being on this show. However, there are some things that go against the nature and you really shouldn't force yourself to do something that is against your nature. So don't try to be liberal when you are essentially conservative. So hmm, that's just not really being you. That's all for this episode. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are by leaving your comments below. If you've enjoyed the video, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe to be alerted to when the next video gets posted. So until then, bye for now.